So we went to the nursery this morning. I got four of the boxwoods that you see here on the ground. I got three, oh, I got five boxwoods, I'm sorry. I got three of the limelights. These are ones that can take a, more sun than a regular hydrangea. And look at all the blooms on the top. So he said that they should bloom very pretty this year, hopefully. And then for height, I got these. And he said these would grow about six foot tall. So I'm gonna kind of mix those in. We're gonna do it in this area. I think I'm gonna leave the verbena looking, this right here. I think I'm gonna leave the verbena Get the azaleas up. I don't really want those in the front flower bed. Not that I don't like azaleas. And there's a blueberry bush in there. So I, I wanna clean slate, lay this out. I'm really thinking I wanna do a trellis on this end with that star jasmine on it. So I want something really Southern. I'm gonna show y'all something too real quick if you don't mind. I'm gonna walk. We had a pole barn built last summer between our house and my parents' little cottage out here. And we are gonna start working on that together. It's really pretty at night. You can see it's got the bistro lights on it and the huge fan in the center. But I'm excited about starting that project with you guys. I've been kind of keeping it quiet because we just haven't had the funds to do that area. But hopefully, you know, once we get the house, main house done, we can start working out there. So you can see I've already pulled up some um, grasses out here. But after I pulled that up the other day, there was a snake out here. So I'm very deathly afraid <laughs> of snakes, especially since my bear bear got bitten out here. And see, the deck will come out from the front porch right there. And please overlook our house. We're still, we're working on some projects right now and everything is just a disaster. We were at the hospital yesterday. My husband had to go to the ER and I posted that on my Instagram, but I wanna get out here. It's so pretty out here today. And I wanted to get out here and work in my flower beds. It's cool, it's not too hot. So maybe, I can get something done. So I took the handy dandy Kubota. Gosh, if you have a farm, these things are awesome. But I went and got the shovel and the rake and I'm gonna start pulling out these azaleas and that blueberry bush. Look at that blueberry bush. I think it even has a little bit of paint on it from when they painted the house. I'm really considering getting rid of these brick too. They're too brown for me. So I'm down here playing with my stone. I've got a ton of leaves. Look at those leaves, good gracious. But I thought if I took the, um, I'm pointing, if I took out these stones and then laid them straight up along the edge, I could do this kind of border. So you see that down there, how it was. And then this here, I think I like this much better. It looks a little cleaner for me. Um, it was pretty before. I'm not saying it wasn't pretty. It just wasn't my style. But I'm thinking about doing a trellis right here and then doing some jasmine on it, something real southern. And then I've got all my flower bed dug up, right? And I'm laid out my flowers the way I want them. So I've got, these are boxwoods, little bushes are. And then, oh, I can't remember the names of these. They're a cedar type tree. And he said they get about eight foot tall. So I thought, well, that would be some height and that would be really pretty right there. And then I wanted to put the um, lime lights under the windows and I had an extra one. So I thought I'd do that right here. I think I kind of like it. My husband came out, you know, he's not feeling too hot, but he came out and looked and he said, I really like it. And Nicole, I really think I like the way the rock looks like that down there, but it's just, you know, when you start doing flower beds, it's pricey. Now let's get all these in the ground. 
Right, day one is in the books, y'all. I have to stop. I'm an old lady. Goodness gracious, but now how pretty this is. I think it's going to look really good once I finish up all the brick. And then we're going to go tomorrow and get some um, bark for the flower beds, for the mulch. There we go. I'll get it out in a second. So that's what all of it's going to look like. But I'll see y'all tomorrow. So I finally finished it today. Oh my goodness, it was so, it's a lot of work. I do need to get some more mulch. We planned on going and getting it today, but my husband's not feeling good today. So we are going to go get it next weekend. And I'll show you that after I get it done. But I love these lights. They are the Energizer, I believe is what they're called. I'll try to link them down below. We bought them off of QVC. And they're the copper, which y'all know I love copper. I left the rocks that they had. I'd love to have me some, you know, little cement colored animals to have in my flower bed and I am going to do a soaker hose in there because they say just to let y'all know you're not supposed to water hydrangeas from the top you're supposed to water them from the bottom so I need to get out here and water them again but I'll bring y'all back out here after it's dark and let y'all see I wanted to show y'all this flower bed. It's got this plastic uh, trim around it. And you see all of the stone that I had left over. I am going to pull that plastic up and I'm gonna lay them flat like this. I am not digging holes like I did over there. I about killed myself. I'm 52 years old, that's hard work. So, it's beautiful. It's been a beautiful weekend out here. And happy Mother's Day to everyone. So, it's Sunday. And I'm done for the day. Can't wait to get this yard finished. I couldn't stand it anymore. I had to put some little cards over the lights. Because I wanted y'all to see it. I didn't want to wait any longer to post my video Y'all have been so patient with me. Um, I've been so busy at work and I've not done many videos, but I am trying really hard to get better. But I am loving this flower bed. You know, I'll share with you all, all the little things that we add to it all along. So, that little noise you hear is that thing right there. That is supposed to deter snakes. I don't know if it really will, but anything to help. I love the way this turned out. It's so pretty. And I will try to link these Energizer um, lanterns on my description. Thank y'all for joining me today, and I hope y'all have a fantastic week. Happy Mother's Day again. He washes over me with love, serenity, a holy peace. He shows his love is free and wide. He is the master of of my life.
from my 